Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Overloaded. Encoding Overloaded, oh no. Uh, welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today we got Gunslinger Elysium Suicidal. I'm just kidding, it wanted to give me random Elysium. I'm not doing that. I've had I've had my fill of Elysium. We don't, we don't need any more of that, so you know what you do when you get Elysium on random? You come out here and you pick what it should have given you. Ashwood Asylum. You pick what it should have given you. Stupid Elysium. I ain't playing that for a while. <laughs> I have I have played enough Elysium. I don't need I don't need that anymore. We'll uh, we'll do some classic Ashwood Asylum. First batch of Zeds hitting your I mean I I played this one probably more than Elysium, which is uh, funny, but not in a row, you know. Very very often, but not just like literally. I don't know. I did. Uh, you know, if you were to take all of the hours of KF2 that I did for all of those episodes, it would have been like, I don't know, four or five hours, six hours maybe even, because there was, there was a few endless runs in there, and uh, a couple of runs that got like deleted and stuff, um, but like, that's, that's like in a row basically, right? I'm sick of it. Okay, I can eat rice every day, but if, if rice is my only meal for like three days, I'll be sick. But I like you, you give me rice every day as a part of you know my my meal every day. I'll I'll eat it every day for like as long as you want. Okay, every every day for a year that sounds fine. But if 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 it's only rice every day for a year, I'm gonna be sick of it after like three days. I need I need some kind of. Uh, Variety. Give me, give me pasta. Okay, I don't, I don't care if we have, if we have to keep it to the, you know, not so great for you foods. Then uh, give me, give me some pasta or something. At least, you know, some butter noodles. It's basically the same thing as rice, except it's in a different uh, form factor, more or less, kind of, sort of, ish, kind of, uh, not really, but kind of. It's, uh... Hello. I recognize that sound. I know I don't normally recognize that sound, but I recognize that one. I knew that was a husk, and I was not letting him shoot me. Um... Yeah, no, you're just, I'm just sick of Elysium, so we're not, so we're not doing that. We'll go, we'll go back to the previous patch where it didn't exist. <laughs> If Elysium is the new, like, always gets picked by the random thing now, I'm gonna be mad. Because I like letting it pick randomly. If it's gonna be giving me Elysium all the time now, then I'm, I'm gonna be mad. Because I'm gonna have to, like, pick a game every single time. I'm gonna have to pick a map. That's no fun. That's no fun at all. Oh, actually, no. I was, I was gonna talk some more about uh, Terraria, but I don't think we need to. I think we talked enough. I have, a, I have a minor update with the with the memory stuff, but nothing worth noting really. So I'll talk about when I get a little bit more done. What other topic are we gonna have? I don't know. I don't have all the stuff recorded for Serenity coming up on Friday on the new channel. So we gotta get on that and start recording a bit. It's weird because I have I have like these these things to record. I should be recording Gunfire Reborn and Yamajack tries as well. I'm gonna kind of ease into it all. Um, Tomatoes. That's my tip. Good for clotting. Yeah, it's uh, I've got to get some recording done and then edit the video and put it all together and stuff. It's it's uh, it's a bit of work left to do on that for sure. This cat's back in the game. It's fun, but it's just uh, I'm kind of uh, obsessed with Terraria right now, and it's hard for me to. Why do I always think I can get out that way? You get out over here. No, you get out over here. You just walk out the door. I always feel like there's a weird, like, side entrance. There is, I just don't know where it is. No, we don't. We have quarter pounds. They're, like, one of the worst additions to the game because they're just weaker flesh pounds, and flesh pounds are already hardly a concern. These guys and the always enraged flesh pounds, they're the, the worst, okay? Those are the Edars. I don't like either of them, dude. I haven't been writing my book either. I've, I've all not book, but the, the novel, the light novel, the web novel thing that I was writing, Shara's Many Faces. I've been writing that. I might write the next chapter tonight. 
I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to. I just haven't done it. I might write the next chapter tonight. I've got a bit of AFKing to do in the uh, Terraria world as I wait for some things to kind of happen. So I might, uh, I might write that while I'm waiting on that. Maybe, perhaps, perhaps not. My uh, my mother actually has been on her breaks. She's been texting me like, "Hey, I got ten minutes. Send me a send me a chess link." So we've been playing chess on her breaks, which has been uh, fun. She actually she she had two chances to beat me today on on the on the game we play. I blundered twice in the game. She didn't see it. <laughs> um, but I, I blundered twice. I left mate open twice in the game that we played. One of them I saw. One of them I saw and I was like, oh god, please, please, please. The other one I just didn't even see. Yeah. Some sometimes I like make a move and then I'm like, oh god, no, that was not the right move. I'm done. Um and but the uh, the other one I was I was just uh not even aware it was there, but it, I was going through the analysis afterwards and I was like, yep, that's there. That's a problem. <laughs> That's definitely uh, an issue. But uh, she didn't notice it, so I ended up uh, mating instead. One of my uh, one of my friends was was uh, was like, "Do people really say mate instead of check?" And I'm like, "Well, yeah, because it's like they're different things." So, uh, if you guys don't know, because apparently he didn't know. So maybe other people don't know. But if you guys don't know, uh, mate is when the king is, uh, like, definitely captured. You know? Like, uh, it, a mate is when you check the king and there's no way for the king to get out of check. Right? Um, and a check is just you check the king, you, uh, you know, move a piece so that it can attack the king. Um, but the king has a way out, so maybe you move the king, uh, maybe you move the queen next to the king. You know, that's, that's check on the king. Um, but because nothing's protecting the queen, um, the king could just take the, uh, the king could just take the queen. And that, that makes it just check. But if you had, like, a bishop that was, uh, protecting the queen, now the king can't take... Uh, and if the king didn't have any valid moves, and if nothing could take the queen, uh, then it would be mates. So, so mates is is, you know, if I if I mate you, then I win. If I check you, then you have to respond. It's uh, it's just a very like a check is just a very strong forcing move. It's not actually like a significant thing so much. It's, it's just a. It's just a normal attack on a king, you know? Like, if, if you put a pawn next to a pawn so it can take the pawn, that's an attack on the pawn. You do that with a king, that's, a, that's an attack on the king, which is just check. It's its mate if, if the king has no response, if there's no way for you to respond. And basically, if you if you end your turn, or if you're going to end your turn, you know, if, if you have to end your turn still in check, then it's mate. Which is why you couldn't, like... If, if I have, like, a queen attacking your knight, and then behind the knight is your king, you can't move the knight because you'd end your turn in check, which is not allowed. You lose. Um, so. Yeah, he was like, what? Do people really say mate? I'm like, yeah. Of course. You know, you could say checkmate, but, like, it's more like checkmate, you know? Time's up. I don't know. I got, you, got, you got check and you got mate. But uh, apparently some people don't know the difference. I mean, if you don't play chess, why would you, right? If you're not, if you're not a chess player, then, then why would you? I also, I talked to some people and they're like, yeah, I really respect anybody who plays chess. I got, there's, there's a number of people who, who have said this to me. Like, yeah, anybody who plays chess, like, I have a lot of respect for it because you just, you really, uh, like, it's, it's just a very, like, you know, mentally and intellectually stimulating kind of a uh, thing it's it's a very respectable hobby to have um, I'm like hey you should start playing it then you know like that way you can finally respect yourself and uh, without fail almost all of them always are just like oh well I suck at chess it's like yeah <laughs> so did like you know anybody 
when they first started. You, you play anybody's first chess game, and they probably got scholars made it, okay? Like, you know, you don't have to be good at chess to play chess. You have to play chess to be good at chess, you know? You got it, you got it backwards. If you don't, if you don't play, you're never going to be good. But it's, it's always funny, because so many people have that opinion where they really respect chess players. But then they don't want to play because they're bad at it. I'm like, well, those people you respect for playing chess weren't good at it, like, when they started. You take me, like, two weeks ago, and I was, like, 300, 400. I felt like I was, like, 300, 400 back then. I was, like, losing and winning. Like, I was losing more than I was winning, even, you know? And then I learned, and I started raising, like, very rapidly, and I've been winning every game. But, like, that's the point, right? Like, two weeks ago, I sucked. Now, I'm uh, okay-ish. I wouldn't say that I'm good, necessarily, but I'm, I'm okay-ish. I'm no longer, like, just a total novice, you know? I think that uh, if I were to have a, you know, kind of like instructional session with uh, somebody, you know, Gotham Chess hit me up. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I think we'd we'd end up with like kind kind of a you've only been playing chess for like two weeks really. That's impressive. I think that's about uh, how it would go. And uh, I think that a lot of that would just be because, um, well, in particular Gotham Chess, uh, I feel like always compliments the people he uh, he brings on just because like why wouldn't you? You know, like like he, he clearly wants people to be playing chess, so just make them feel good about themselves, and why why not? It's not not hurting anybody. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I think that um, I think I think I'm an okay. I'm, I think I'm okay. I don't think I'm a total novice. I, I think I think I'm I'm pretty good for for you know how long I've been playing, which is not long at all. And again, you know, in a few months, I'll be I'll be really good at it. But it's it's just it's funny. I have an itch on my head. Let's hope for the best. Traversing the map. Okay, I got the itch. Did I get the itch? Yes, I got the itch. It's like... I have, like, hairs and stuff on my head. And sometimes... I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm not bald. Uh, and, uh, like, the hairs, like, fall out, and then they get, like, stuck in my... Like, headphones. You know? And they they start to like get in my eyes and in my ears and just just really 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 annoying. It's really 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 frustrating. So it's it's it's, it's a bit of a problem sometimes, but it's it's gone now. No more stray hairs. No, I think I still have a stray. I shed like a dog. Um. Anyway, it's just it's just funny to me because because so many people have have had that. Uh, I've, I've had that conversation with so many people. Just, just, yeah, I have a lot of respect for chess players. Hey, you should play. Like, it's good fun. No, nah, I'm not good at it. Like, if, if you don't want to play, you don't want to play, okay? Like, you're, you're allowed to not want to play chess, but if the reason you're not playing chess is because you're bad at chess, well, like, playing it is a good way to fix that. You know? It's not like you're putting anything at risk. It's not like you're, you should be embarrassed because you're a bad chess player. You're gonna be playing if you if you start up an account on like you know chess.com or something, you're gonna be pit, put up against people who are roughly equal skill. You know, you'll you'll be playing against other people who also kind of suck. And uh, if you need somebody to whoop your butt, then you know challenge me. I'll play you and I'll whoop your butt. I'll whoop your butt almost every time. I played, uh, I said I was playing a friend last night or whatever. I don't know if it was in the last video or this video. But I said I was playing a friend and, uh, we were just talking about the Scholar's Mate in, uh, in the Discord chat. And then we started playing and I'm like, and that's called the Scholar's Mate. <laughs> you gotta do it, right? It's just, it's like a, a rite of passage for chess players, I think, right? I mean, if it's there, it's there, right? Like, like the, the 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 beautiful thing about the scholar's mate is that a lot of the time, you know, you're not even necessarily going for it, but like, it's just where you want. Like, it's it's a strong position for your bishop, 
and it's a strong position for your queen. What happens a lot for me is I'll have my um, knights out on like uh, F3 or F6, and then somebody will take with their uh, or F3 I think or F6. I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. I'm not good at board notation. Anyway, I'll I'll they'll they'll take with uh, their bishop, and then I'll take with my queen. No, not the F. We're almost out of time. Is it the F? Make yeah, BF. Yeah, yeah, you know F3. F3 is what it is. They uh, they take with their bishop, and then I take the bishop with my queen. Yeah. My bishop would already be lined up for the F7 uh, scholars, mate. And then they don't protect against it, and I'm like, well, I'm not just going to turn down <laughs> a mate. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm not going to just say no. Like, I wasn't going for it, but uh, don't mind if I do. Then you just put your queen on f7, and that's mate. You should defend against it when somebody brings their... That's why it's a terrible idea to... Uh, to take with the bishop on uh, on f3 there, especially when the queen has uh, has access to it, unless you have some way of defending that tile or defending the f7 um, spot tile there, square. And if you got that, then you're you're fine. But so many people don't do that, and like the right decision, the right move, the best move is almost always to take with the queen. Um, because your knight's gone, uh, if you take with the pawn, you're kind of messing up your pawn structure. Um, you know, just just pull your queen out. It's not under attack or anything like that. And they have to make a uh, they have to make a response to you putting your queen there, so you don't really waste a move, you know. And you're you're kind of messing up their pawn structure as a result, and you get a uh, a bishop out of it for uh, for a knight, which is um like a fairly good trade. And then some, like, oftentimes they just don't defend against the mate. And it's like, well, uh, okay then. I guess I win. I don't oftentimes, like, intentionally go for the scholar's mate. You know, like, like, literally just following the path, you know, like, it's like, E4. Um, or something, right? Yeah, it's, it's E4 bishop to something or other and then you, you take your queen out and mate it's, it's it's like four moves or five moves or something that you get mating if they don't defend against it but like people are going to defend against that so you don't really want to play that but uh putting putting your but it's, it's a good put it's a good spot for your bishop quite often and um it's not always the best spot for your bishop but sometimes it's it's okay to have it there um, because it kind of forces a response again. Because if if you do that, they kind of know that you're going for it. But if you're not going for it, then you kind of get to get some development happening at the same time, which can be nice. Because they have to respond to it, even if you're not doing it. Otherwise, it's it's mate. You know, it's just a very easy thing to respond, and you can kind of respond while you're developing your pieces. Like a, a knight to c6 just kind of blocks the bishop. And again, you don't want to take that bishop. Or you don't want to take that knight with your bishop. Too often, anyway. Bishop's generally better than knights. I mean, if you're playing a very closed game, then uh, knights are kind of better. But... Because knights can jump over all the, the closedness of it, but bishops have to, like pierce their way through, but uh, if it's a closed game, then the diagonals are kind of cut off anyway, because you've got, like, pawns right next to each other, and not really having any space for diagonal movement and stuff, and... But, uh, yeah, 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 it was, it was kind of funny, because I was, like, just talking about the, the Scholar's Mate, and then we played a game, I, like, avoided it for the first one. I was like, I'm not gonna go for it. And I ended up, but uh, I think we drawed, maybe? Or I won? I think we drawed, though. I think I think I stalemated him, which I'm bad at. Um, and then, uh, or maybe he won. No, no, no. He 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 did win a game, but uh, it was because I'm bad at when like end games. I'm bad at. I need to learn my end games more. 
Anytime that uh, it comes down to like you got a bunch of pawns, you gotta like find your way to to get it to the end, make a queen, prevent them from making a queen. I just suck at it. I gotta I gotta get more practice with that. I don't get there very often. I, I tend to uh, like destroy their pawn structure and take pieces and have like a pretty major piece advantage and position advantage, whatever, and then mate them pretty quickly with without having to be in that like end game position, you know. Uh, or I'll have a rook or or a queen or something at the end. Um, so I don't I don't get much practice with it, but this cat's back in the game. Might have to might have to do some practice. More on the scope. Back to it, mes amis. I've been I've been watching the lessons on chess.com as well. I've been watching some lessons. I mean, I'm learning things. I'm learning things. I've learned about uh, like distant opposition and direct opposition and stuff, which is actually like game changing for for end games. Uh, I've I've found myself running into that kind of problem a lot. Where uh, their king just kind of has the initiative, or I, I, uh, I'm not able to make any moves because their king just keeps responding. So to, to know how to, to get out of that was uh, was pretty good. It was very nice indeed. And it involves like some precise king movements and stuff. The thing that really annoyed me about the lesson was. Uh, I was going through it and they were teaching me like triangulation or something. And uh, so I was doing the challenges and they're like, yeah, this one works, but we're going to do the one that Grandmaster so-and-so did in the game. I'm like, you didn't even show it to me. Why are you telling me that this is the wrong move? Just tell me that it was the right move. It did the same thing. You just have to like move in a triangle so that you end up getting back and they return, but they're behind, you know? So then um, they have to move back and then you kind of move in and then they have to respond and then you're able to kind of like take the initiative there and uh, and make a move and then get your pawn advanced and stuff. Anyway, it's hard to explain without having like a chessboard in front of me, but I'm learning things. I'm learning things. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.